This episode's FDR shoutout goes to Gruzinkerbell. Leave a comment down below to have a chance for a shoutout in the next episode. Make sure you're subscribed. How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Fish for Thought. My name is Chris and you're watching another Fish Tank review. Let's get it, let's go. Oh yeah, this is Millie. If you haven't met her for some reason, well, I don't think I featured her too much on this channel yet, but this is Millie, my little evil burb. She, uh, she is, oh, Millie. Why are you kissing my neck? My girlfriend would not like that. She would not like that. Oh my gosh, it's like watching a horror movie, but a really, really bad one. Man, this turtle is doomed. It looks, Millie, why would you say that to me? Oh, I, I, you don't have to stay here though, Millie. This turtle legit looks like Torterra or like Turtwig, angry looking Turtwig. The moss on the shell is intense. I've not seen this before. I know that moss and other things can grow on a turtle shell, especially like snapping turtles because they're ambush predators and their shells evolved to kind of get things to grow on it, but I've not seen that much algae or moss or like, is that normal? Is this turtle healthy? Are there any snapping turtle experts in the comment section of a FTR video? And man, am I glad this turtle is in captivity because it will not be able to survive in the wild if that is how it's going to hunt and how it's going to ambush this prey. Millie's really letting me have it. Millie, that's kind of naughty. Why are you kissing my ear? You don't usually do this. All of a sudden there's a camera and now she's going crazy on me. Sheesh, PDA. Oh, Millie one's off. All right, bye Millie. See you later. <laughs> she changed her mind. <laughs> Millie. I know some of you are like, Chris, you can't just let your bird do whatever it wants and land on your shoulder like that. I'm working on it, okay? I'm too busy scratching Millie whenever Millie wants me to. I have a problem. I think I'm spoiling my bird a little too much. Also, for the last time, feeder goldfish are the worst feeder fish to feed any animal that requires live feeding of fish. They provide little to no nutrients and they have this thiaminase enzyme that breaks down important bodily functions of whatever is around the goldfish. It's a reason why we don't, we shouldn't encourage feeding uh, feeder fish uh, to other animals and we shouldn't encourage housing other gold, other fish with goldfish because thiaminase is in the water as well. Saw this on offer up, looks stable. Jeez, <laughs> what? What? Look at how dinky that thing is. That is like a little cupboard. Is that one of those? There's no way it's one of those plastic ones. No, I think it's at least wood, but it's like wood from Ikea, you know? You can't put a, what is that? A 30 gallon fish tank, maybe a 50 gallon. You know how heavy that is filled to the brim with water? If you put two of the biggest guys on earth uh, that can lift the most, put one on the right, put one on the left, they're not gonna be able to lift that thing. That's how heavy it is. And you're gonna put this on a flimsy little Ikea drawer. The overhang is massive. Like if you put three of those drawers underneath it, it still probably won't hold. Besides that, can we just talk about the thing beside it. It looks like maybe a 20 to 10 gallon fish tank and it's on the smallest, dinkiest little stilettos that I've ever seen. First of all, surprised at the decision making. Who? There are many other things you can take a chance on that it's much safer for your hardwood floors. Hey guys, this episode of FDR is sponsored by you. Smashing that like button. Thank you so much. And also consider supporting Patreon because Patreon is one of the most stable ways to support this channel. You literally become a pillar of the channel by supporting on Patreon. Thank you so much for your consideration. Pet score submission by BetaBuddy69. Yo, 42069, please, so let's go. Don't do drugs. Giant sword in the corner. You got little bits of swords here and there in the substrate. I hope that's a fertilized substrate because swords are machines at taking nutrients. As I get attacked by Millie, my neck is being drilled. She is doing a The whole thing just screams like cost effective, smart, resourceful aquascaping. Don't get me started on the stocking. It's so understocked. The Beta. The Corridoras, the Tetris, they all have so much space themselves. Floaters up top, clean backdrop. Yo, come on, 4.45 out of five, keep it up. I'm speechless. Anyone else bring their fish to Disney World? Just us? We didn't have a fish sitter, made our Nemo suit 
extra special. Not even gonna ask what a Nemo suit is. Oh, Nemo suite maybe? Yeah, people rent like themed hotel rooms. So I guess they rented the Nemo suite. Ah, oh, perfect. That makes so much sense. At my optician's clinic, I feel so bad. Man, what are they fixing your vision for? To see this? Bruh. If I went to my optician's, I don't, I don't see the eye doctor. I should probably. Pro tip of the day. <laughs> Millie, shut. Pro tip of the day. Go check out your eyes. <laughs> Make sure things are okay up there. But seriously, if I walked into my optician's clinic and saw that, I walk out and be like, no thanks. I'll just keep my vision this way. I don't need to see that. What are they thinking? They're supposed to put nice things to look at. We're gonna get LASIK for what? Pest course submission by Laura. Gee, you really like my shoulder today, don't you? You're not getting off even though you're so angry. Ooh, got the white skirt tetras, got the black skirt tetras, got a Grammy, Opaline Grammy, which is gonna get pretty big. Got the leaf litter, some moss carpet, uh, wisteria, Ludwigia, floating Ludwigia, and a big sword. Same tips as the other tank, make sure your swords are getting enough nutrients. I think this tank is a little bit on the overstocked side. I think you can pick maybe one species of that and then uh, downgrade the Opaline to a Honey Grammy or a Samurai Grammy or chocolate grammy. It's missing a bit of hardscape and structure to me as well. 3.45 out of 5. Keep it up. Some people need to stop. Feeding giant snakehead to man with fish and frogs. Man, this thing looking like a Animal Crossing fish tank or a Minecraft fish tank. The box and then the whole fish right in the middle. No place to swim. Congrats on your beta in a cup equivalent. I'm sure it's real happy. Whoa, sarcasm plus 100, homie. If only you spell beta correctly. Snakeheads are so beautiful. I just have a love and hate relationship because they're so invasive and I'm a conservation biologist so I shouldn't like them, but they're so beautiful and I'm in this fish tank, fish keeping hobby, so you, you might be able to understand where I'm coming from, right guys? Well, regardless, I wouldn't be able to own a snakehead. Highly illegal to get one into Canada, not to mention they need big, big tanks, and I don't got a big tank like that. I can't, I can't handle it right now. If that sort of miracle happens and I'm allowed to have dwarf species of snakeheads, yo, let's go fam. I'ma start a snakehead farm, you know what I'm saying? I'ma start feeding two man with fish and frogs. There's no reason to feed anything a frog these days. DIY mini Lego fish pond. What is that title? How is that a fish pond? Are you kidding me right now? Even if it was there for a short time, it still stressed it. What are you talking about? Are you saying that this fish, are you saying that this fish is still alive? They used a live fish, not like a frozen dead fish? Okay, I'm just salty guys, I'm sorry. That is actually one of the most beautiful ponds I've ever seen in my life. The colors are just amazing. The amount of space it has for that one fish is just beautiful, beautiful. Why, why would you thumbs down it? It has 1.4K thumbs up, it must be a great video. You should un-thumbs down this video, dude. Don't, don't be a douchebag like that, man. Don't be a hater. Stop drinking the hater raid. This guy made a DIY DIY mini Lego fish pond. Can you imagine making a pond out of Lego? Let's see you try to do it. You probably don't even have any Lego. <laughs> Might be going a little too far there with the sarcasm. Okay, pet score submission by Lindsay Sparrow. A Jack Sparrow. I apologize. A white betta fish. Solo betta fish tank. The terracotta pot with some, uh, what is that? Kabamba? Limnophilus siloflora? Got some java fern, got a beautiful, interesting piece of woodscape, but we're working with some colored gravel. It's okay though, I can oversee that. You're doing everything correctly. It's just not the most natural thing, but it does remind me of like a Japanese garden sort of feel. And you're treating that betta fish just right. I'm sure you're spoiling it like crazy. Just hold up a little bit on the feeding, okay? The betta fish does not need to overeat every day. They don't need to eat that much, but maybe you got it. Maybe, maybe I'm just preaching to the choir here. 3.65 out of 5, keep it up. The bonus secret comment of this episode is water change. I wonder why. I jumped, oh, it's the fish. I'm like, you jumped clean out of the water, bro? I jumped clean out of the water and tried to bite my mom's fingers while she was feeding me. Oh my gosh, that's very dangerous. It's it's always a uh, 50-50 with like cleaning fish bowls with a betta fish in it. They're called Siamese fighter fish. They'll take your finger clean off. This uh, fish mom is one of the most bravest souls I've, I've actually ever ever encountered on the internet, jumped clean out of the water. I wonder why? Why would you even wonder that? It's a Siamese fighting fish. It will fight and take off anyone's finger that tries to approach it. What's there to wonder about? I don't know what OP is saying. Ethan loves fish. Do you really love fish if you don't even know why the betta fish jumped clean out and tried to take her finger off? You probably never owned a betta fish. What a simpleton. This has got to be the worst tank. I've ever seen. I don't get it guys. What's what's wrong with this one? Can you can you tell me one thing that's wrong with this one? It's got the fish bowl. It's got the giant goldfish in it, just like in Animal Crossing. Ding ding. Very good, very good, right up my alley. And it didn't stop there. They were like, no, 
Our goldfish deserves the best. So they put an air pump in it. And where would they put the air pump? Of course, on the plate that they put on top of the fishbowl. It all makes sense. This is a classic. This is a textbook move. Every household... I think I had too much coffee today. <laughs> oh, this is the sarcasm cup. Damn, I've been... That's why. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep drinking it. Pescore submission by Winchi. Yo, this is a nice shallow depth of field macro shot. I appreciate good photography in this hobby because, you know, you could have the best most beautiful tank but if you take it with like a toaster oven it's not i'm not gonna see it and that's a waste i love seeing really good tanks the biggest waste is taking it on a nokia from 1995 don't think those were invented the hardscape is pretty chill i'm vibing with it you got a little attachments of plants you got plants in the substrate itself hopefully it's fertilized i don't even see any fish in here let me see yeah no fish so I don't know what you're gonna stock it with, but I'm looking forward to it. Maybe a betta fish. Make sure it's at least around five gallons because you know, anything smaller is a little cramped for a betta fish, among other reasons. Four out of five, looking forward to see what you're gonna stock it with. Linefish in three gallons. Man, this has got to be the most beautiful tank I've ever seen in my life. Look at that rimless, clean look. What is that, fluval? Oh, they put a linefish in fluval aquariums? That's, oh man. Magnifico. That's the cutest lionfish. And you can tell it's not one of those pussy dwarf lionfishes. Why would you even, especially for a, especially for a three gallon, why would you even do a dwarf line? You gotta go full length. Every saltwater aquarium, nay, every freshwater aquarist dreams of having a setup like this. This is a complete five out of five. You don't even want to question this over. You don't even want to rate it because every single lionfish put into a three gallon tank is a five out of five. No questions asked. Ugh. A mom, which fish do you want? Okay, I will punish you. I think my viewers would be like, don't let your bird do whatever it wants because that's bad behavior and they can take advantage of it. Wait, is this your punishment? Maybe not today. Today, you can still be bad bird. I'll start tomorrow. <laughs> I'll clicker train you one day, Millie, I'm sorry. How are you supposed to like put your bird on timeout when it's so cute? A mom, which fish do you want? Six-year-old. That one. Every fish's nightmare. When a six-year-old comes and it's a mom serious about spending some cash at PetSmart or Petco. Like most of them are just there to use it as a zoo. Like, wow, look, beautiful fishies. Wow, look, the lizard, the color changing lizard. If you know, you know. Once in a blue moon, the fishies are like, yo man, those look like people who are actually gonna spend some money. Those look like people who have a fishbowl at home with some belly up fish in it that they need to replace. Oh, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. The cichlids are like, Psh, then they ain't gonna choose us. They never choose us. The coolie loaders are like, we look interesting. They'll look at us, but they'll never choose us. The feeder go are like, ah, oh, I just got here. I have like three diseases right now. Let me quarantine at least before I die. The cuppies are like, okay, we're dead. We're dead. Joe, we're dead. Get the morgue. Get the morgue ready. <laughs> Guys, welcome to the end of the video. I don't know what, well, I guess I, I do know this because of the coffee. Would you guys rather like me jacked up on some sarcasm coffee or not have coffee? Because I do this pretty early in the morning, I would say. If I don't have coffee, I'm going to be so boring. Would you Would you like a boring FDR or, or a more like uh, experience? Let me know in the comments. Welcome back to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for supporting me and watching till the end, boosting that algorithm so that, you know, this video and this channel gets pushed out to more people. More Cory gang members in the house, baby, let's go. The secret comment of this episode is coffee. You know those days where you get up and you don't want to do your maintenance? Have a cup of joe or some tea if you're not a coffee person. Perk you right up, get you ready to do some maintenance. That's why it's the secret comment of, of this video. Look for the bonus secret comment somewhere else in this video and if you enjoyed, please smash that like button and subscribe for more because uh, there will be more. Don't forget to get your hands wet. I'm so hyper right now and I'm kind of sweaty. Millie, don't you, don't, don't you feel the sweat? Oh, that's my Linkin Park earring. You're not allowed to take that. Unless you want it. Here, I'll give it to you. Tetra, 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 we in a spot coming in hot. Ventral fin die, acclimate that. With my shoal act, cure my fin rot. From Carisiformes to Paracherodon, hold on. There's not another fish that you can wish for. Live fam says, I finna one. I finna gone three days without fur. I'm an addict, like fanatic. I'm a baddest, no tabs, only dirt. My Cory gang so loyal, black Tetra go skirt. We came to play, came to silence, gang.